Cindy. Hey. Good morning. Thank you. You said to you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Lindy, for coming through. I know you are a busy woman. So that's why I was a little two minutes early to get in touch with you. Is that okay? Can we talk now? So, now you're more than welcome. So, yes. Thank you so much for your time. So here we are. There is about 65 of us. I'm ready okay. to listen to you know what you do, your services. To be honest with you, um, how I decided to get um, hold of you, I just saw your profile on Facebook. And then I read through, looked at the reviews, and I was so excited about them. What I do here, I just share the opportunities that are right there. Like I said yesterday, that I'm based in Ireland. I'm a nurse, and I haven't been here for, for that long, actually. But I've seen okay. that there's a gap, you know, for our own people, yeah. for our own Africans to, to come to the diaspora and work for their families. So I thought you could help in a, you know, in a very big way. So that's why I invited you. Hope you will share what people are going to benefit from and i'm positive about that because of the reviews that i saw so this is the platform lindy just tell us as much as you can um i just mm. want them you know to gain your services yeah and i'll be pleased with that because i'm certain they're going to get some help so it's over to you lindy my name is novantu by the way yeah I don't know, okay great um anybody can get a job overseas okay it doesn't matter if you're from Nigeria, Zimbabwe, it doesn't matter where you're from, okay? As long as you've got the skills and the experience. They're very different from South Africa. To them, it's not how many certificates you've got, it's how many, how they can use your skills, okay? Um, in order to go overseas, you need a job offer first. And in order to get a job offer, your CV documents has to be done internationally. Each country has got codes that we work with. They call it national occupation codes. The reason for that is because their occupation names is different from ours. Like for instance, let's say a boiler maker sends his CV to Australia. Okay. They're not even going to look at his CV because they don't know they don't know what's a boiler maker. They call a boiler maker a fabricator. Yeah. So that is why the codes is there. So everything has to be done according to their codes. You have to have a cover letter that support the job that you apply for. They're very, very finicky with that. You have to have a, a skills list that's set up according to their codes. So what I do, I take your CV and I go through your CV from the day you started your first job until now. And I look up all your skills that you gained over the years. And I look up all the codes that goes with those and I put it on a skills list. But remember, over the years, you gain skills that's not on your CV, that you forgot about. So I go and I do research on your, on your CV and I add those skills for you on your skills list. The reason for that is because if you can't get a job offer in one skill, you can get a job offer in another skill. And that is why your skills are so important. Okay. Then they had, they use a ATS compliant CV. ATS stands for application tracking system. It's a system that they use globally. All the companies use it, all the recruitment agents use it. And when I do your ATS compliant CV, that CV links to the codes. And that is why the codes are so important. So if your CV is not ATS compliant, then the company uh, or the company's and recruitment system is not going to pick up your CV. Then you have to have a LinkedIn profile. That is the most, most important thing of all your documents is a LinkedIn profile. Because your LinkedIn profile is like an online CV globally to all the countries, all the companies, all the recruiters. 70% of my clients get their job offers on LinkedIn. So it's very, very important. So when I do your CV documents, everything that goes onto your cover letters, your skills list, your CV goes onto your LinkedIn profile. And then I list your skills on your LinkedIn profile. And okay. Okay. Once I listed your, your, your skills on your LinkedIn profile, then I open up your LinkedIn profile globally. So you can get a job offer from any country. Mm -hmm. If you say, Lenny, I want to go to New Zealand, I still open your, your LinkedIn globally, but I focus for you on New Zealand. It's mm -hmm. just to, to give you a better chance to get a job offer. I've got so many people that they say to me, Lenny, I want to go to Canada. It's like one of my guys on one of my videos. Um, he wanted to go to Canada. He got a job offer in, in the UK, which he took at the end of the day, and he's very happy. Mm -hmm. So it's just to get a foot out of South Africa or get a foot in the new country to get a job offer. 
Mm-hmm. So anybody stands a chance to get a job offer. Okay. Brilliant, Lindy. Okay. So um, if I got you correct, it doesn't um, matter what job you're looking for. It, it could doesn't be matter. Any job. Mm-hmm. any job, if you've got the skills and the experience, yes, then you can apply for jobs internationally, yes. Okay. I've got, okay. as you saw my videos, I've got some of my Zimbabwean guys who's in UK, in New Zealand, all of that. So, yeah. Um, the thing is, I'm not a recruiter and I'm not an immigration agent. Mm-hmm. I'm a registered CV writer globally for all the countries and a job marketer. So I do the CVs for all the countries and then I market your skills and experience directly to the company. Okay. I do not work with recruiters or immigration agents. All right. Okay. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm so, that's, and that that's is how brilliant. it works. Mm-hmm. And I only specialize in sponsorship. Sponsorship is where I get a job offer for you from the company and the mm-hmm. company pays for everything. They pay for your visa, your airplane ticket, your housing, mm-hmm. everything. They pay for everything. Sponsored mm-hmm. job offer is for you, your husband, and your kids, so it's for your immediate family, providing your kids is under 18. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, I'm, I'm glad all that is coming out clearly, Lindy, that you're not a... a um, a recruiter, but a job marketer. So yeah. from the from what you've just said, I just want to check if there are any comment or if there are any questions for you, so that you can just clear them before you leave. But if sure. there's any other thing that you want to let us know, how do they get hold of you, and um, yeah. how about your charges and everything? How does how how long does the process take for them to get the jobs? Yeah. Okay, my charges are four thousand rand. Mm-hmm. That includes everything. It's a flat rate. Okay. Um, that includes all your cover letters because remember, if you, if I see that you could apply for four different jobs with your skills and experience, I do four different cover letters for you. So it's 4,000 rand, includes all your cover letters, your skills list, your ATS compliance CV. I send you Skype interview pointers that helps you with your Skype interviews okay. with a company. Okay. And then it's your LinkedIn profile included and your unlimited job marketing. Yeah. So that means I market your CV until I get a job offer for you. Okay. Um, I did have, well, it happened before that I've got a client that the same day that we sent out his documents, the same day he signed a job oh. offer. But it doesn't always happen. That's when you're very, very lucky. But I've got people that got three job offers in three weeks. And then I've got people that only got job offers in six months. And then a year. it all depends on what industry you're in, which country um, you have your interviews in, because it depends on how long they take with their documents. Okay. Um, the, the companies that, that works the fastest is Canada, Ireland, UK, and New Zealand. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. but like I say, I do all countries, internationally, Sweden, internationally. everywhere, Iceland, everywhere. Um, and that's how it works, yeah. The company, mm-hmm. once you send out your CV, the company contacts you directly mm-hmm. for your Skype interviews. Okay. Um, because I'm not a recruiter, so they don't deal with me, they deal with you directly. Mm-hmm. Once you've got a, uh, sorry, an interview, they contact me and I make sure that the company is legit before you do or sign anything. Yeah. That yeah. is very, very important. There's a lot of a lot of scams there. Exactly. You okay. will get a yeah. job offer from a company or an interview from a company. You will go and Google the company. Mm-hmm. The company will exist on Google, but the offer is not from the company. It's somebody that uses the company's name. Mm-hmm. And with sponsorship, you do not pay anything. Mm-hmm. So as students, Somebody tells you, but you must pay for your visa or you must pay for your airplane ticket, then you know it's a scam. Yeah. Sponsorship, you do not pay for anything. Um, and then the new thing that they do is they send you an interview list mm-hmm. from a company for a job offer. Mm-hmm. You don't get an interview list. Interview is face-to-face mm-hmm. on Skype or on Zoom. There's no interview form that you fill in. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, the people don't listen. They just sign. And they Very don't know true. what they Signing. So that's very, very important. If you get a job offer of a company, contact you, send it to me so I can check it for you before you sign anything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the, for those for those heads up, Lindy. Um and then how do they contact you? I know you have your Facebook page, that's where I stole your phone number from. So how do they contact you? Yeah, they can send me on they can contact me on Messenger, they can contact me on WhatsApp, mm-hmm. um, or they can 
phone me. I've got an email address. Everything is on my um on my profile. Mm -hmm. My email address is global at cvexcellence dot co dot za. Global at cvexcellence dot co dot za. Dot co dot za. Please repeat it, Lindy, so that somebody can type it there on the comment section. Guys, can anybody type it as Lindy um says it out? Yeah. Please repeat yeah. it, Lindy. It's global mm -hmm. at cvexcellence.co.za. Mm -hmm. .za. Right. I'm sure people my, telephone number, mm -hmm. my telephone number is plus two seven, two seven, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, four, seven, four, four, seven, 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 my WhatsApp, my business WhatsApp number. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get a hold of me, I'm very, very busy during the day. So you might find me not get a hold of me. Send me a WhatsApp. I will answer you back. Right, okay. Lindsay. Please details. repeat the phone number. It's plus two seven. Yeah. Seven four. Seven four. Seven four. Yeah. Three double five. Three five nine five. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Lindy. Thank you very, very much for your time. I know, like I said earlier, you are such a busy woman, but I'm glad you gave us, you spared us um, your time. So there's 167 people listening to what you were telling us, and I'm certain you're going to be overwhelmed with their, you know, you know, all the, they want your services, to be honest with you. That's well, why I, I had to, to invite you. So thank you very much, Lindy. And, um, Hope to hear from you soon if there's any other thing that I'd want to inquire from you. Thank you no very much problem. for your time. You're welcome to contact me. All right, then. So, guys, okay. thank you, Lindy, for us. Is there thank any questions guys. before we allow her to leave? Um, uh, let me see, Lindy. Just two minutes. Just a second. Let me see. No problem. If there's anything for you. Um, somebody's asking, do you also help with the interview tips? Yes. My Skype, I send you, when I send you your documents, I send you Skype interview pointers that helps you with your interviews. Like, for instance, when you go for an interview or you do an interview, Sorry, Lindy, you never Lindy, Can ever... I just interrupt you for a second? Keep talking. I just want to do a little bit of something here. Please keep talking. Yeah. Okay. When you go for an interview, you never, ever discuss your, your salary with them. If you go for an interview and they ask you what salary you're looking for, you just tell them that what are the offering you negotiable. You never tell them because now you give them an amount that you're looking for. The company is not prepared to pay that amount. So they're going to shoot you down and take somebody who wants less that you want. Or or they, they um, can pay more than that, but they're going to give you what you want. So you never, ever discuss your, your salary with them. You ask them what are they offering and you negotiate your salary. Because if you don't do that, then you can lose a job offer. That's very, very important. So all of that is on my on my Skype interview pointers that helps you with your interviews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so much, yeah. Lindy. Yeah, I think even if I was not here when you were talking about it, I think I, I got a bit of something about it. Yeah. So um, thank you so much. They're all just grateful and just thanking you. Thank you very much, Lindy. I'll leave you to go so that next time I invite you through, you're, you, you, you're allowed, you know, you're able to come through. Thank you very much. much. And yeah, that's all we can say, Lindy. God bless you and have a okay. lovely Friday. All right. You then. too.